Hello friends, this is Drame Bass and today we are going to talk about mature Japanese bill series and movies. Japanese bill are good in their own ways. They deal with more grown up and real life topics. The cinematography is great and if we talk about genre, then I love mature stories and there is no debate about it. I like to see the sexual tension between the characters and I believe it to be very important. Some Japanese bill are sincere in their story and some are very dark. So today I'm going to list some of my favorite mature Japanese bill dramas and movies that you should not miss. But let me tell you that this list is my personal opinion and if I missed some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video please like subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys some more so let's get started. The Novelist Kuzumi Haruhiko is a university student. One day he causes a bicycle accident. The accident causes novelist Kijima Ryo to break his arm. Kuzumi does not have insurance or money to pay Kizima for his injury. Kizima then asks Kuzumi to transcribe a story he is writing. Kuzumi is surprised to learn the story is obscene. First, I want to start by saying that if you are considering watching this series, then you need to know that this is not the usual fluffy drama with tons of comic relief. I absolutely love this. It's raw, it's intriguing and it's highly sexual. There is a lot of depth in this drama and to this story and I don't think everyone choosing to watch this will be able to understand it. This series is not about the romance because this is not romantic at all. It is an absolute seductive and dark gem. A straightforward story about the relationship between two men. The End of the World With You The End of the World With You is a Japanese BL series about two ex-lovers reuniting before the apocalypse. In 10 days, a meteor will strike the earth and kill the humanity. Masubi Nishina is surprised to reunite with his university boyfriend Ritsu Kasukabe, who once broke his heart. The world's impending destruction forces them to team up together. They go on a sad journey of redemption and reconciliation. This series has an open ending. I am trying not to give any spoilers, that's why I am not going to tell my theory but at the end of it, I love this series. The unpredictable events, eccentric character and gritty relationship drama create it as a memorable Beale series. Masubi's sweet voice is heaven and the NC scenes are bestest best. Lastly, I love the music, especially the last song. I think the music reflected the sad but bright world they lived in which makes it more emotional. So overall, this is a must watch and you should watch it. Dangerous Drugs of after attempting to commit suicide, a light office worker Katsuragi Makoto wakes up bound in an unfamiliar place. There he meets his captor Yoda Ryuji who forces a horrible life of assault and confinement training on Makoto. The two start bonding and each begins to recall the tragic past and led them to this deranged situation. This movie is not for the faint of hearts and if you can take things like kidnapping, rape, BDSM, tons of sex, mature content, suicide and torture, I suggest you stay away from this movie. The story was just not all about or drugs, the story actually have a good plot and for me, they actually put some lessons about life, death and having difficulties living in this world. So far, out of all the Japanese BL movies I have watched, this has been the most extreme and I loved it. Mood Indigo Mood Indigo is a Japanese BL drama about a struggling author who begins to write pornographic novels at the urging of his friend. Although the main character is initially reluctant to work in this industry, he slowly learns to adapt the erotism into his writing. As he dwells deeper into the salacious genre, the relationship with his editor also becomes increasingly sensual. Mood Indigo is the prequel of the novelist taking place years before its predecessor. The best part of the series is to realize that no matter what happens in life, they shared an intimacy with each other that very few people ever get to experience. Compared to the season 1, the novelist Mood Indigo, that is the season 2, explains how the novelist became an erotic writer and how he started a relationship with a man. Grand Gignol 
Set in a solitary island school where only students who have caused problems are gathered and communication from the world is cut off, Homura Itsuki comes to the school as a transfer student. At the school, there is a study group for the 19th century French cruel drama called Grand Guignol, and Itsuki ends up joining that study group. In addition to the members of the study group, the teachers who manage them, the head chef, the mysterious new teacher, and other people who gathers at the school are somewhat suspicious. And finally, a serial murder case like Grand Guignol occurs. On an isolated island with no way to escape, Itsuki and his friends are caught up in a vortex of fear of death and love and hate between men. When you watch this movie, the first thing that you will realize is that it is different from other recent horror movies. What I appreciated in this film was the creature design. The movie has a lineup of some great actors and they do not disappoint. The story is also quite very interesting and I love Kumia Ryo. He was amazing in this. My personal weatherman Popular handsome man and weather forecaster Sagasaki is actually a tyrant at home. Yo, an erotic manga artist in a tight spot knows this very well. This is because the two of them are living together. More than that, it's because he cooks and cleans for Sagasaki. To no surprise, in exchange for being provided food, he must obey everything that Sagasaki says. What comes from such a contract? My Personal Weatherman is a very promising series. It ended on October 13 with episode 8 being the last one. This has everything that makes a good adaptation. I am seriously in awe at how well written this series is. The screenwriter and the production team took the essence of the original source and enhanced it. Good production value and good chemistry between the leads. It really maintains the production quality, the same level of hotness and horniness up to the last episode. The Cornered Mouse Dreams of Cheese the Cornered Mouse Dreams of Cheese is a Japanese Beale movie based on a manga. The main character is an unfaithful married man cheating on his wife. When his detective friend discovers the affair, he agrees to keep it as a secret in exchange for a passionate kiss. Their first kiss unlocks a turbulent relationship between the pair in a journey filled with desire, mistrust and heartbreak. This is not a happy, fluffy and really sweet movie. The characters are flawed and the relationship was messy. Both actors did a fantastic job, their chemistry was top-notch and I loved the love scenes. The story was marvelous and the ending just broke my heart. Sing in Love Jin is a temporary elementary school teacher on his way to a permanent position when a dramatic event plunged him into a terrifying deep darkness. Three months later, a mysterious man named Kai provokes Jin's memory and feeling regarding the past experience through rapping. Why is Kai obsessed with Jin? How does Jin confront his own darkness? Conflicts and battles for two men who have been deeply injured inspire healing. And does true love exist on the other side? I really love this movie, the acting was amazing and the cinematography is great. This is a film about a lot of things, drama, sexual and social violence, love, desire and the power of music. Overall, this movie was beautiful but it does not have an international release yet. But there is Fansible who translated it, we will have to wait for its international release guys. The shortest distance is round. Haruto spends a lonely high school. The new teacher Aoyama cares about him and starts an exchange diary. Haruto gradually opens up but one day when he was resting because of a cold, he was kissed by Aoyama who came to visit him. Agitated by the sudden incident, Haruto violently refused and Aoyama was chased away from teaching. Three years later, Haruto who graduated from high school and became a host has debts and sell his body. But suddenly he meets Aoyama again. In terms of plot, there really is no plot. The start was actually alright but as it progresses it becomes weird. They try to represent the world of prostitution but with no clear explanation. I don't want to spoil the movie so I'm not going to mention the most weird part about the movie but yeah, it was weird. Still, it can be consumed. First Love 
Tadashi is about to take his final school examination. Unbeknown to anyone, he has fallen in love with his fellow pupil Kota and does not dare to tell anyone. One hot summer's day, some of the other schoolboys taunt him, calling him a pawns. This destroys all the hope he ever had of getting together with Kota. This is a coming of age movie about finding out who you really are and not being afraid to love who you are. This is unlike typical Beale story. This is much more realistic which means it's a little rough and you might not like it. But I think you should definitely give it a chance. That's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down and I will make another video for it. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.